Hi guys, Jared here, and um, sorry for some background noise there. I got everything open. It's a hot day today. Anyways, um, got some requests uh, from a lot of you guys asking me to give my first impressions on this game right here. But uh, I'm really limited in what I can say because of uh, the non-disclosure agreement that I signed. Um, basically, I can reveal everything on the uh, release date or on, I think it's June 4th or 5th or something like that, when I publish the, uh, the review, I can go a little more in detail. Um, my first impression, what I can tell you, is that the game is bloody awesome. I uh, really, really enjoyed my time with it. But, like I say, I can't really say too much more than that, so instead what I'm going to do, I'm going to talk about these, Uncharted, Uncharted 2, and Uncharted 3, and I'm basically just going to highlight the uh, the difference because a lot of people have actually uh, written in asking me what the heck is the difference between the two so here's the the core concept between these games with the Uncharted series you primarily were like hand walked from point A to point B you got stuck on a puzzle and pretty much the game was like well go here and things like that and uh, the game was pretty much broken up into sections of exploration and then gunfights and stuff like that. Uh, you had like sometimes wave after wave of enemies coming after you. Uh, where you just, you know, you use your cover system and you kill everything. I know I'm making it sound like really blah, blase or whatever, where that's not the case at all. This remains one of my favorite series of all time. Now with The Last of Us, the big difference with this one is where everything with this was humorous and just very light-hearted. This is all about the drama. It's very, very serious. Imagine what would happen today if some infection went, like, ran rampant and, like, uh, ended up killing, like, the whole planet and there's only a couple of us left. What would really happen in a world like that? And that's what Naughty Dog, that was the concept Naughty Dog worked with, and they sort of like ran wild. And so that's the world, that's the setting, is basically 20 years after this infection has like ran rampant all over the, uh, all over the world. So you got to imagine, like, if people weren't around in cities and things like that, what would happen to like plant life? What would happen to like wildlife for uh, that matter? Basically, nature would slowly take over, and that's exactly sort of like the world that uh, you're going to be exploring. It's this dark, mysterious universe that uh, just begs to be explored. But that's not what I want to talk about. What I want to talk about mainly is the gameplay. And with Uncharted, it was very simple, really, when you, um, when you think about it. You had your exploration elements, and then you had the cover system and this... Um, this rather simple uh, combat, really, when you uh, stop to think about it. But with The Last of Us, the idea isn't so much on combat or exploration. It's about survival. That's the key element here. And this is not a survival horror game. I don't know where it actually got that, uh, that title. This is just a, like, base, well, basic. This is just a core survival game. That's the whole point, is you want to go... And complete your mission, which I can't tell you what it is, uh, while staying alive in this world that I just sort of described for you. So how is this broken down? Well, you do have your exploration areas. That's basically like there will be sections where you're trying to traverse, say, like, uh, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes of gameplay, something like that. Um, the game will still help you. They'll still like point you in the direction of where you have to go if you spend, say, like 10 minutes or whatever and you can't sort of figure out what you have to do. But what's neat is that combat is placed within this exploration, okay? How that works exactly is sort of like this. So let's say you're in this open area with uh, two homes on either side. This is all fake. I'm making this up just for the uh, sake of explaining the gameplay. Now, you... Your main objective is to basically get to, say, from point A to point B. But you've got these two homes on either side. Now, the question that the game poses to you is, what are you going to do? Are you just going to take the linear path? Are you just going to go straight to, um, to the next, like, checkpoint or whatever? Or are you going to go into these two homes? 
Now, this is what you got to think of. This is a survival game, meaning you only have a couple of, uh, of resources available. For example, um, in the very early portion of the game, I had like seven bullets for like hours. Now, seven bullets, that's, that's not much, right? You don't know what are in those homes. Now, there could be infected, there could be residents, or there could be nothing at all. From you, like, I'm sure you guys have seen um, gameplay footage and things like that where Naughty Dogs talk a little bit about all of this. But you can also, you also have uh, different, like, weapons and stuff like that available to you. So you not only have, like, a little revolver, um, but for example, you can make a shiv. Now, that is one of the only ways to kill one of the, uh, the big infected guys. The other thing is, there's uh, runners, which you've, like I said, you've probably seen in uh, some of the gameplay videos. Uh, with runners, what these guys are, is basically, just think of it like a regular person that um, they've lost the ability to really think, so they're just pure savage. So, let's go over this again. So you've got these runner guys that can head towards you and just want to, like, rip you apart. Then you've got the, the, the pure infected. Uh, I'm not sure if the names have been released yet, so I don't want to give that away. Um, which, with those guys, you either have to basically shoot them, or you have to kill them with a shiv, sneak up on them and kill them with a shiv. Uh, or you could have other people, regular people, that don't know who you are, and you're basically breaking into their, um, their like, safe haven, as it were. So they're going to be, you know, they're going to be up against you here. So... You have all of that going on. That's what could be in the home on top of other things. But is it worth it for you to like go in there? Or is it just easier for you to just say, you know what, to hell with this, I'm just going to bypass the entire thing. And that's the main core difference between The Last of Us and Uncharted. And Uncharted, you had no choice. You basically like, you went and you just killed everybody and that was the end of it. But with this, it's all about that choice. That choice will basically have major consequences because if you do go into one of those homes and they are littered with like dozens of enemies you're going to use all your different resources to take those guys out and what are your rewards in some cases it might be nothing at all in which case what the hell is the point of that right uh based on other gameplay videos that you've most likely seen the last of us here is uh is basically a combination of stealth action and the exploration that I've already mentioned. So unlike Uncharted where you use your uh, cover mechanic in order to go, you know, take out a few guys, pop out, shoot them, and then run to another cover, with this, there is no set cover system. You don't, like, attach yourself to, like, a wall or anything like that. It's basically you can go into, like, a sneak mode where you can just slowly walk from one cover to the next. And that's, that's another major, major difference. Uh, the way I'm currently playing the game, and I'm about more than halfway through the game now, is I'm, um, I'm basically just using stealth the entire time. I do not use any of my weapons or other goodies um, until like I absolutely have to because of the whole survivability thing. If I run out of uh, those goodies, I'm pretty much screwed. So, yeah. And I can only imagine, I'm playing it currently on normal just for the review purposes, but I can only imagine how difficult this will be when you eventually play on the hardest difficulty setting. It's not going to be a joke. So anyways, there's just a very simple uh, gameplay overview of The Last of Us compared to Uncharted, just to give you a little idea of how the two uh, are different. The Last of Us is certainly not Uncharted. If you walk in expecting Uncharted, in other words, a little exploration, some puzzles, and then like enemies combat and then back to exploration you'll be disappointed because it's not that's not the type of game this is uh, this is a game where you have to think before you act you're not just gonna run balls to the wall and uh, start like killing everything you have to really make clear concise decisions about when to attack and when to say you know what to hell with this I'm just going to uh, I'm just gonna bypass this entire area and move on to the next checkpoint all right, I hope that uh, sort of gives you uh, a little bit of information that you guys were uh, asking about. I know I can't, like I said, I can't uh, give you too much information because of the non-disclosure agreement. 
But uh, I think that gives you a, a little bit of an idea. And if you've watched any of the gameplay videos out there that Naughty Dog's released, they really do a really, really good idea, uh, a really good job of showing you guys uh, exactly what you can expect. So thanks for watching, and I'll have another video up uh, probably tomorrow or within the next couple of days. And uh, if you have anything else you'd like to know, just remember I cannot talk about specifics of the game. Uh, I can give just light overviews, almost like a preview sort of deal. And also make sure you uh, check out the site, projectseaweed.com, because I'm posting a lot of uh, different content all about The Last of Us every day on the site. So check that out. Leave a comment below if you, uh, if you have any other questions. As long as they're non-specific, I can uh, most likely answer them. Well, thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.